Hi guys, in this video we have another salaries report for 2024 provided us by AI web scraping service TalentUp.io, which represents the latest data about job positions, salary changes, job openings and other useful stuff for us. So if you want to know what insights you can get from analyzing data from about 250 millions of working professionals, 8 millions of companies, 45 millions of salaries. Let's get into it. Since my channel aims to serve IT professionals or people, for example, who are seeking for relocation to Germany, we will talk about here. First of all, inflation data by the end of 2024. How Germany is affected and what happens with salaries. Another one, how attractive is Germany for IT specialists compared to other European countries. And of course, we will talk about IT salaries in Germany and three main takeaways that we can take from this report. And in the end of this video, I will share with you my personal view on situation and what data we can get from this report. Inflation in Germany appears to be stabilized on 2% level and salaries in the IT sectors are not only keeping pace but often outpacing inflation. But this positive trend is happening only in IT. In other industries, generally the purchasing power of salaries dropped by 0.6% in 2024. Yeah, I've got this aggregated data from this report. But coming back to IT salaries, compared to other industries in the rest of European countries, IT salaries in Germany have shown a significant rise. What you should understand is that there is always a gap between inflation and salary rise. Usually it's around one or two years. So if the economy is growing and usually high inflation helps economy to grow, then you should wait around one or two years in order to salaries to catch up. We see German inflation stabilized since March 2024, so in 2025 we can expect the growth of salaries and more important, growth of the purchasing power. Now let's talk about how attractive Germany is for IT specialists compared to other European countries. Using data from this report, we do the analysis based on Berlin and Munich because these two cities are represented there amongst other big cities of Europe. So Berlin and Munich represented in this report, they have overall the third level of IT salaries in Europe. And London and Zurich are on the second and first place respectively. By the way, Zurich shows some crazy numbers which show 94,000 euro as average salary according to this report and I'm speaking about all positions here, not only IT. By the way, Switzerland is a specific country with a specific way of living. We will talk about that maybe in my later videos. But generally, to close the topic about IT salaries level in Germany, it stays on the third place in Europe. Berlin, by the way, has one of the base ratios of professionals to positions open, which is three. In comparison, Munich has one of the worst, is 8.5. I mean, this ratio represents how many professionals reside in a city to one job opening. The lower the number, the easier the situation with available jobs. Cost of living in Munich and Berlin is almost the same, it's the difference at around 10%. Berlin is cheaper, but taking into account job situation, Berlin looks like much more promising place to look for job, not only compared to Munich, but generally all over Europe. Munich and Berlin demonstrate one of the lowest cost of living plus rent for flats change in Europe during 2024. Yeah, I mean, in other cities, this number rising because of the inflation. I think this can be easily explained by stabilized inflation and probably some cooling on the job market, simply because less companies are open, less people are being hired, uh, less people are coming to the cities, going from cities. That's why that the prices stay more or less the same during the last year. By the way, I've analyzed all of the European cities in this report. All of the cities basically have their pros and cons, but and there is no ideal place in Europe right now. But at the end of this section, I want to mention Bucharest in Romania. Bucharest shows crazy low salaries in IT. I know that this is a relatively cheap country with low taxes, but the numbers for salaries for in IT, they are really low with the average salary of IT in something like 30,000 euro yearly. I don't know if it's really like this or this data that really has some bugs. Now let's talk about salaries in German IT tech sector. Initially, I wanted to show you top five most and worst paying IT positions in Germany. You know, it's always interesting to see such data. But you know what? It makes no sense right now to analyze each specific salary by position. 
You, by the way, can do it yourself uh, by getting this report. Instead, we can infer some important takeaways which give us some new perspectives on the situation on German IT market. And also those takeaways prove what had been said in my previous videos. So, first of all, general level of salaries has job. Don't pay much attention to such anomalies in this report, such as Agile Coach, which has 104,000 and 116,000 annual salary. This is not how much Agile Coaches are earning in Germany. This is simply means that web scraper found some job openings with such salaries in the particular cities. So it doesn't mean that you will be getting this salary. What is currently happening with salaries in German IT? Salaries moderately dropped compared to pre-COVID times. I would say up to 10%. I mean, they dropped in the absolute numbers. But you should also adhere some inflation, which was pretty significant for the last couple of years. And the result is that the purchasing power of uh, people who work in IT has dropped something like 15%. This is also my feeling as a person who works in software engineering in Munich. Another important takeaway, in Germany, average salaries in the IT not much higher than the average salaries in the country. I've got average salary from the all salaries represented for Berlin in IT area from this report. And by the way, I used AI to create a Google table from this PDF report. And I've got 72,000 annually euro gross in Germany. Just for your information, average salary in Germany in 2024 is 50 4,000 euro annual gross. This allows us to make a big generalized but true conclusion about Germany. Here, working in IT, you are not a part of some elite earning club. You still get a decent salary, but you are more or less living like others. Germany is about of being average. This is how the old system built here. I remember when I was working as a front-end engineer in Riga, Latvia, I earned something like 2,800 euro net monthly. And at the time, average salary in Latvia was something like 500 euro. Such salary gap is simply not possible in German IT market, of course, except if you are working in big tech companies. You will not see such salaries of 200k annually or more for software engineering position in public, but trust me, they exist. And the third takeaway, companies are mostly hiring people for lower and medium range salaries. I make these conclusions because I don't see very high upper salary levels uh, for many development positions. But I know that those salaries exist. I mean, salaries like uh, 100k plus annually for just the software development positions and not in big tech companies. Those salaries are paid for two professionals in specific areas. For example, Python developer. If you are an experienced Python developer who can do machine learning magic, you can get much higher salary than 70k annually mentioned in this report. Or for example, if you are a React developer and you can make fast and glitch free online editors and you can get for this job up to 100 130k annually. Yes, just for very good knowledge of React. I know that because I've been recently interviewed for such position. And if you are interested, um, I failed. Or for example, if you are a Java developer and you need to upgrade Spring Boot version. Easy peasy task, you would say, on your local computer with your local project. Try to do this on the company-wide level. If you can do this efficiently without disrupting all the development process for a one month, you can theoretically get those 1030k annually. But coming back to general situation on the German market, we can make a conclusion from this that the German IT market is mostly not moving very much right now. It stays on the hibernate mode, waiting for the business climate to improve. And just a couple of words to wrap up this section. First of all, you can analyze these salaries by yourself by getting this report. In the next section, I will tell how to do it. But what I want to say from my side, the more I analyze those salaries data from different sources, I even sneaked into the biggest Reddit recruiting community pretended to be a recruiter to ask how things are going. So the more I analyze those reports, the more I understand one thing. Getting initial qualification in IT is no longer an immediate ticket to a high incomes club. It also does not guarantee you a job. 
especially speaking in Europe. You can get those high salaries only by getting experience which will allow you to perform those, by the way, relatively simple technical tasks, but on much bigger scale. Remember that example with Java Spring Boot up upgrade on company level. During the last five years, especially after pandemic, which enabled remote work for almost all IT positions, the IT industry got so big in flux of people that this market became very, very crowded. Conclusion what we all should do now. In my opinion, the answer is obvious. While the IT market is not in a good shape right now, we should get those necessary set of skills to specialize on specific business and technical domains. What I mean by that, here are some examples for you. If you are, for example, a backend developer, you can specialize on splitting big monoliths, apps into microservices. If you are DevOps, get knowledge on how to set up machine learning pipelines. If you are front-end developer, know how to make very fast applications or make CSS magic with complex layouts which adjust to different screens. And if you have free time, start learning Python. We will talk about this in my next videos. And now in the end, I will tell you how to get this report. You should register in Talent App IO website in order to get this report. At least it was available when I was doing this video. It's free, don't worry. If you do it using my ref link, I will uh, put it in the pinned comment of this video, we both, you and me, will get plus one additional free advanced search point. If I get enough such credits, it will allow me to analyze some salary IT positions tendencies over time, so I can make a really nice and interesting video for you. Basically, this platform has a lot of uh, free features and statistics related to jobs and salaries, and you can play with it. Uh, to do your own research. And if you need more analytics about German IT market, here's a couple of videos from my channel which will give you much more insights.